Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, coming to you live from the clubhouse uh, resident or from the Robinson residence. Uh, my name is David Robinson. My name is Michael, and this is Clubhouse Weekly. Uh, you know, Mike, uh, I'm coming off fresh off a weekend in Las Vegas. I'm kind of feeling a little spacey still. It's, yeah, me too. It's weird. I'll admit it. With Dave gone, I was a little. It's weird. Troublesome. It's weird. Uh, I don't know. It's, just, it's so weird. I'm so glad that I actually scheduled the day off before I actually having to go back to work. I mean, long term thinking. I got to. I got to well, give me credit for man, it. I couldn't imagine having to work today. But uh, one thing I'm happy to do is discuss uh, what happened last week. How uh, you kicked my ass? Well, I think it was just a battle of attrition, actually. Ah, what? You know, really wasn't a, a highlight film ready to happen no, there. But no. uh, let's take. Hey, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's take a look. Like, we'll look back at week thirteen. <laughs> uh, we're really. Uh, Heading into the next week, I mean, really, the, the playoff uh, picture has definitely crystallized. Yes. Uh, so we, we, we know who's going to make the playoffs. We know, I mean, there's a long shot for one team, but we got only seven teams for six spots. Everybody else is out. It looks pretty clear who's going to be in who's going to be out. So we're going to take a look at 4th uh, and 20 versus Team Who Cares. Okay. Every time we look at 4th and 20, we look at those Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes with another big game. Uh, that's all I thought. And that's, that's what we talked about last week on Weekly, is that... You know, and the, the Chiefs have the Raiders, which is obviously an No Kareem Hunt. That's got, hey, let's talk about it. We haven't talked about it at all. Well, we'll talk about it from a fantasy perspective first. Um, Jack does have the right thing going on here. I've talked about it a little bit. If you're going into the He playoffs, got himself uh, uh, Spencer Ware. He probably he had Spencer Ware. He's had Kareem Hunt handcuffed the entire season, and this is why he has it. I mean, Spencer Sorry, Ware, Mom. Spencer Ware is walking right into a starting position. Probably immediately a top 10 start, week in and week out. Now, he's no cream hunt, but he's still on a dynamic offense. They're going to run the well, same stuff. I mean, stuff. they got blockers, don't they? They're, they're going to run the same stuff. They're not going to put a ball in hand. They're not going to ch- They're not going to change the offense because cream hunt's not there. Now, yeah. I mean, they're going to be a little bit different because he's not there, but they're going to run a lot of same stuff. Cream time. hunt's a dynamic player, but oh well. Um, and Jack could see him. I mean, he's playing against a team. Who cares? Team. No, it's definitely team. Who cares? Uh, so, you know, he gets performances up and down the board. Uh, yeah, Mahomes goes for 33. He gets, you know, I mean, we talk about his depth issues, but some of his little... Team who care only scores 86 points. I think it's his move, huh? Yeah, I mean, but... I mean, right, go ahead. You know, I mean, there's... I like his pickup. I mean, Justin Tucker's putting up big numbers for him, which I don't usually talk about kickers, but that's one of the only kickers in the league that I want uh, to I face for the 20 next week, so this will be a concern. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we're still going to bench issues. We'll talk about that a little bit more next week. And then team who cares. Yeah, I mean, who cares? There's just not much. There's not much sizzle to that steak anymore. And, you know, and. Not much sizzle to that steak. I like that. No, there's, there's not. I mean, what is he going to do? I mean, where's, there's just, I don't know. I mean, when you're, what is he, three and whatever, it's kind of tough. He makes the forceful moves uh, out of anybody. I mean, most league. moves. Is it, or no, second most moves. Anthony makes more moves because he picks up kickers, drops for him just to make sure he has the most moves. Oh, something like that. Throwing shade on the fact that we're deep. Let's do it again. He has 41 waiver wire moves. He has 41 moves. We only have, so in essence, you've turned your roster over four times. Uh, we'll go to another matchup with, I think Derek had some sort of weird outside chance to make the playoffs from last week. It yeah. was very outside. Yeah, and uh, it's definitely gone now. And uh, Lone Rangers gets a win. Hey, oh. hey, my boy. And I think my boy Debo. My boy, Tebow. We talked about this last week. This is the Battle of the Kickers. And, uh, yeah, um, Prater gets more points than Will Lutz. And uh, that's how Tim wins the game. Next matchup. That's all we can talk about with that. Uh, let's get into something a little bit more fun. Uh, Lick My Tate Squad, Alex Giddings versus uh, Steven Steen. Amari Sodomizer. The, the Sodomizer. And this is a battle of matchups. We'll just call him The Sodomizer. The Sodomizer has the Houston Texans playing at home against the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Again. Oh, that's right. I was watching this. You know that's a, that's a game where the, the Texans, I was home. I, I got to watch the game. The Texans get up early, um, and really just stop giving the ball to Lamar Miller. And they're not throwing the ball downfield. I mean, really, I think after the first quarter, most of the Houston Texans' fantasy points were scored with Watson, Hopkins, and Miller. All going uh, and for, you discuss this with me privately. All going off for big plays in the first quarter. Stevens got to feel really good about making the upset, and then they kind of shut it down. Uh, and just not a lot of love for everybody. And he just gets mediocre performances. Up and down. Uh, puts up 106 points, just not quite enough to get over the, the hump. Uh, versus Alex's team, who was on the road against the Lions. Goff doesn't put up a, a big number. No, you think, with, well, you think with Goff putting 9.808 points. Yeah, you think Steven have a great team, but the girly man shows up. The girly man. Todd Gurley puts up 
30 big fantasy points. The girly points. man. Did you, at the end of that game, another interesting side point, I mean, not just from a fantasy perspective, but also from a gambling perspective. Girly, like, you're out there gambling like a motherfucker. And I bet against Pardon them. my language, but you guys don't give a shit. Well, I took the Rams minus 10. Yeah. And uh, Gurley gets a, catches a, a, a swing pass late in the game with about 2.30 left to go. And it looks like he's about to stride. Oh, that's right. I was watching this. He's about to stride in for a touchdown, and he goes down. And he keeps the score at 23-16. Lions are plus 10. I was... And if you're in Vegas, the sports book I'm just still at work, but I'm quiets my down phone. to a murmur. Like, what the fuck just happened? Now, fortunately enough, three plays later, Gurley goes ahead and dives into the end zone. He did. And, fortunately enough for Alex, he dives into the end zone. Uh, you know, nearly making a difference in that game. I mean, we, we like Alex's team. You know, there's not... Not much to complain about. Yeah, there's not much to complain about. I mean, he might... You know, he might. I, I love the L.A. Rams. I, I don't know how you ever sit Jared Goff, but he does have Phil Rivers on the bench. Something he's going to look at in the playoffs as to who he's going to start. Phil Rivers is just looking I'm like a, a outside. He's a solid 24 guy. Well, and he gets you 24 points every week. And he's an outside MVP candidate in the, in the NFL right now. I mean, I mean uh, what's his name? Uh, who's the guy we're listening to? Uh, Colin. Uh, Coward. Coward. Talk about Phil Rivers. I think he's a big deal. He is a big deal. There's, yeah, just, there's no two ways to look at it. He's a big deal. He leads the steel, or leads the Chargers back to a, a nine and three record. They come back from 16 points down in Sunday Night Football. Thank you very much, and uh, gets a win in Pittsburgh. So I mean, that's uh, Philip Rivers is uh, he don't I mean I know you love Philip Rivers, underappreciated quarterback. Um, on the next matchup, we get the Breeze knees. Uh, yeah, this is uh, almost, no, not the game of the week. Second, second. Um, uh, I remember uh, Anthony talking some shit early Sunday because uh, Drew Brees scored only 8.28 points. And so, uh, Alex, yeah. well, uh, I mean, uh, Anthony, uh, rightfully so. Reasonably yeah. was like, nah, I got this. I mean, and, and then, then she goes off and she scores with uh, Travis Kelsey. Uh, what is that, Larry Fitzgerald? No. Well, she gets a lot of late late time performances. Four o'clock game, Jay oh, White. Travis Kelsey, too. I remember watching that game. I was, I was a little fucked up, but I remember watching it. And uh, Kelsey was just a beast. Two touchdowns early. Yeah. Uh, she gets performances on Kelsey, James White, and then on Sunday Night Football, Antonio Brown and Keenan Allen. There Big is. numbers. I mean, so she gets nearly, what she get? A hundred and something points out of the four guys, all playing after four o'clock. So Anthony had to be looking pretty going into four o'clock games. And then all of a sudden, this, she gets, he just gets slapped across the face. I mean, with just a whirlwind of fucking points. Don't bother me it, Promises me a playoff spot, but Anthony, you know, got to be worried. Well, he's got to be worried about this depth issue because we're not dealing with any buys last week. Mike. Everybody's playing. Everybody's That's right. No, I, I looked at that too. And, and I mean, we're playing. We still are have. We still have Le'Veon Bell on the bench, which is a huge mistake. Like, I mean, seriously, bro. Like, you're the only guy. You're the only. We keep making fun of you, and you haven't fixed this. And he's the only team. You I literally was... call it your mascot when we made fun of you, calling it your mascot. Yeah, but he's the... and you still have him. Don't get it. He's right, the yeah. only team out of those top echelon teams, you know. So what are we? Nine and four and eight and He's five. He's one of the top echelon. Oh, you're, you're eight and five, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're eight, nine and four. Anthony's eight and five as well. He's the only eight and five team at risk this week, and he's still just keeping a dead roster spot. No, uh, Jamie also is. But yeah, I get you. Uh, I don't think that she's gonna get caught on. I mean, that. I don't no, look so. No, funny. no, it's not Jamie. Because Jamie, no, I know I'm safe. No, Anthony's the only team at risk. Let's score if, twenty points. If Anthony loses next week, Stephen wins next week. Anthony's out. Stephen's in. Everybody right. else is gonna be right. Safe. That is correct. Everybody else is gonna be safe because of matches and how it plays out. And we're looking at let's just this bench. I mean, we ended up starting last week. Uh, uh, we started uh, DJ Moore. Uh, we started. Uh, I mean, we got Eckler starting, which I kind of understand, but you know, I understand Eckler. Our other options, I mean, Calvin Ridley, I think I would be playing Ridley. He doesn't listen to me there, even though he only puts up 3.7. But we're just, we don't have a, a stocked lineup there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not. I mean, we're making decisions on fringe plays. Hey, you're going to break me down next week, the next match. Well, you guys are going to be breaking me down next week since I lost two players to season-ending injury in the first quarter. I noticed that. And you have three defenses. Shock and awe versus Sweden House Buffet. Yep. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, matchup of the week uh, ends up falling well short of... Uh, well short of expectations. Wow. We got number one and number two in the league going against each other. Me and my uh, brother here. And uh, I scored 72.92. Now, I did look into it. It's the second 
least points scored by any team. Only Steven on week one scored less. Wow. Um, I mean, really, coaching decision. Jerry Cook plays, you win. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, Golden Tate goes the fuck off. Right? Uh, not, uh, yeah, he gets 20. So, I mean, if you would have played Tate over Galladay, that's nah, a I win. I by fucking point, four points. Yeah, there's some wins out there that you could have had. Uh, like I said, AJ Green and Greg Olson go out for me in the first quarter of those games. Put up nothing for me. Next to nothing. One point each. No, I mean, it's not like you beat me in a fucking somehow, barn burner. Somehow I survived all on the feet of Philip Lindsay, who was a waiver. All the feet of Philip Lindsay. That's the best thing you ever said. Yeah. He was a waiver wire pickup, by the way. Nobody drafted him. RB2 goes off hard I mean, for Dave Jr. Yeah, there's just, there's people out there all the time to pick up. Um, and yeah, I pick up a garbage win. But you know what? I don't apologize about wins. You just don't. Go to the and top. I can understand that. What is he supposed to apologize to me? Shit talking Mike Robinson about winning? Go back to the top of Good league. Good win, Dave. Go back to the top of league. I'll go ahead and control my own destiny. <laughs> control my own destiny last week. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. So uh, we'll move on. I was on. trying to win. I We'll move on to what should be the first week of the playoffs. Yes. But um, it's not. It's move the on. last week of the regular season. And uh, week 14. There's nobody that I like to see more when it comes to a regular season game. Than oh, we'll start with your game. Yeah, we're going to start with me versus Tim Sloan Rangers. Uh, That's true. Uh, Dave, uh, top of the heap, uh, but in a point struggle. It doesn't, I mean, yeah, sure. But I'm As not, long as you win, it's not a... I mean, uh, if I win, I win the league. And if yeah, I, I know, but... If I lose, I could score zero points next week. I'm still going to be in the playoffs. Too. Well, you're going to be in the playoffs, but you want to win the regular season. That's $120. Yeah, I still win. A win and a, a win. A loss and I probably don't. No, I lost. I don't because I know I've already analyzed the tight. The tape plays uh, the reasons I mean, the two or three matches. The tape. That's the game of the week. So that's one of the game of the week. Yeah. So I mean, if I win, I got to win. If I win, if I want to win, I win the, the regular season. If I if I lose, oh yeah, you hold your own fate. Though. Yeah, yeah. I control my own destiny. Uh, you know, I'm I'm uh, you know I'm gonna have to pick up a, a tight end this week without Greg Olson anymore. Uh, AJ Green out that's this right, season. Right, man. You're looking. That's, that's yeah, we're though. beating up. You got light lighter. We're getting beat up. All over the place with injuries. Uh, you know, I, you're going to have to look at matchups this week. I like Michael Thomas playing Tampa Bay's defense. Tampa Bay, worst secondary in the league. Uh, so that should be a big number for me. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to hope that, uh, you know, Chubb, Lindsey, Adrian Peterson last night actually ran a 90-yard touchdown. That was nice. So he's going to be a regular starter for me. Hey, Pete, with, always cop uh, Campbell. Well, without A.J. Green now, I mean, he's going to be in the lineup. There's just nobody else out there. It's going to be Adrian Peterson playing. There's just no way. No, you just always score 115. You got lucky against me. And you know you score. You know, I mean, looking over at the Rangers, uh, you know, I don't know. I I, I don't know what I can say about his team. He's gonna have to make a decision at quarterback. He's probably hoping that Trubisky comes back. Try and play spoiler. You know what? There's one guy in this whole league that would love to play spoiler and take a little money out of my pocket. It's probably the Long Rangers. Hey, um, actually, I I might have had a thought to myself. I was like, just because of all the shit Dave gives to Tim, he's going to end up winning this one. And that's my prediction. You're going with the Rangers? I'm going with the Rangers. Okay. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. It's a losing pick, but I'll, I'll take my team. Okay, so let's move on. Move on. Uh, we'll go with two more teams that, uh, well, let's see here. We got, uh, yeah, I let's think the Rangers, just because just it's fitting almost for a whole Well, let's go with the Sodomizer versus Auto Draft. This is an interesting one. All right. Steven needs a win, uh, as we always do when it comes to Steven's team. Let's see who the Houston Texans are playing. They're at home. Indianapolis. Against Indianapolis. Uh, Indianapolis defense, a little kind of uh, sneaky good. They only put up. They only gave up six points last week. Okay. Uh, you know, so I mean, that's not the most advantageous matchup. Uh, Derek's team, not an awful team. I mean, not not somebody that you could like laugh and say, "Gosh, that's terrible." You know, I mean, he's not that bad. I mean, we're still starting TJ Yeldon. He's probably given up on picking up players, which is fine. I understand that at this point in the season. We're talking about a guy who actually sat with us at the bar, at the draft, an auto draft, and he auto drafted. Uh, let's see here. But, Don't I mean, get it. Yeah, but I mean, we're talking about it, though. I mean, look at his receiver lineup. He's got Beckham. He's got... No, he's uh, got... He's got Leo man. Jones. He has Adam Thielen. Mixon. Yeah, he's got Robert Woods on the bench. I mean, there's somebody with depth. I don't know how he didn't trade any of that away. A mistake that maybe he'll correct himself on in seasons to come. Um, I noticed both you and Alex have... Uh, uh, which I personally consider the smartest or most seasoned... Uh, fantasy players have both uh, rostered um, defense. Yeah. 
Nachos, baby. So that's just the thing. That's what happens. Well, you gotta, I'll wise up. Then, I no, you have to transfer your lineup from regular season mode to playoff mode. Because playoff mode, it doesn't matter. All right, back in the sodomizer. Yeah, and he needs a win. He gets Leonard for bat. He's going to get Fournette back this week. Um, we're still starting to Ebron every week, who put out the big number for him last week. Um, gosh, yeah, he's going to start Fournette over Edwards. And I think that's his play. And I, I like, I mean, it, it's not the best matchup. For Deshaun Watson and Hopkins, home against Indianapolis. It's not the best matchup in the world, but it's not the worst. I mean, the Texans are starting to, you know, kind of put themselves up there in the league as matchup proof, if you want to say. Okay. You know, kind of like, you know, the Rams and the Chiefs are. Hmm. Is there any moves they can make? I mean, it's up to you, coach. Not really. I mean, I like I like Buffalo's defense against the Jets at home. Uh, I don't mind Houston's defense against the Colts at home. Uh, I think that uh, this one, I'm going to go with the sodomizer here. I know right now Yahoo has a slight win for auto draft, but that's because Fournette's not back in the lineup yet for uh, Steven. He very well could be. And he will. I mean, he was suspended. Right? It's not an injury thing. He's oh, yeah, that's right. Fournette just yeah. punched some guy or something. Yeah, just being an idiot. Just doing, you know. Edward shit. I'll say it. Doing, <laughs> doing, doing Kareem Hunt like stuff, except for it was on a football field and not against a woman. <coughs> you're allowed to punch a man. Yeah, you're allowed to punch a man. That's fine. Uh, so I go, I go sodomizer for the win. Yeah, I, honestly, is, it's not even bullshit. I go sodomizer for the win. So let's go. Uh, let's go down uh, to fourth and twenty versus uh, Sweden House Buffet here. Uh, oh, this is a tough one. <coughs> again, a matchup of teams that are going to be in the playoffs. Uh, we're playing for seeding here and possible league prominence if we score enough points. Uh, and we're going to go over, let's do fourth and 21st because his is easy. It's always who do the Chiefs play against. And they got a tough matchup, at least at home, but they're playing against Baltimore. Baltimore's defense, not sneaky good. They're just damn good. Uh, they shut down Matt Ryan and the Falcons last week. I haven't picked up a defense yet. Um, you know, so it's definitely not going to play Miami versus New England. You know, we got to like Kamara playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, you know, we're still starting Lockett. We're still starting Corey Davis, Josh Gordon. I mean, these are all players that, I mean, for his, for his team that should be playing because he doesn't have any depth and there's none out there to get. So he's making the right plays there. Uh, you think Melvin Gordon's going to come back? I, I'm sorry. I'm being, I'm being selfish. Well, let's get there in a second. All right. Let me talk about your squad. Um, yeah, he's starting the lineup. He's going to start. Uh, he. Oh, by the way, Kareem Hunt, you don't have to roster him anymore. You can get rid of him. Get it. That guy has been Ray Rice. Yeah, make him your logo, though. That'd be kind of cool. Like, drop. Number 27. It was funny. Uh, actually, a little side story. Uh, uh, real quick. Uh, it was funny. I was watching. Uh, I came home, and I, I got to watch uh, Sunday football. And the logo for um, Red Zone still was number 27. <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> I don't care. It's so funny. It's Cream Hunt is the logo. Oh, <laughs> I don't care. That's funny to me. I don't, if it's not fun to you, whatever. Man. Well, check it next week. I, I mean, they got to change it. They got it. Hey. I mean, we need suggestions on who should be the logo. Let's make it t- Tommy. No, I think it should be Gurley. Oh, definitely Gurley, actually. Yeah. Girly. Todd Gurley is better. McCaffrey, if they want to do white guys. Oh, yeah. McCaffrey, that'd be a good America thing. Cause that, yeah, America loves white guys who do good. Yeah, do well. Dude. That's right. Learn how to conjugate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, Melvin Gordon. Though. Yeah. Uh, do we think he's going to come back? I don't. Oh, he's going to be back for the playoffs. Yeah, like, not, N- not NFL playoffs. I think that they're probably going to err on the side of caution here because I don't. They're not going to win the the Chargers are probably not going to win that division. So they're going to be a wild card. What's going? Play. Who's in that division? KC. Oh, Chiefs are going to win that division. But they're still a wild card. Nope. I, I don't know if they've clinched a wild card yet. They're, but they're like fourth team in the league. Yeah, they're nine and three. They're gonna they're gonna make the playoffs. Yeah. So they're gonna be on the road. They already their 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 fate's already sealed. I mean, unless the Chiefs totally fall apart, which I don't see happening. That this is not a traditional Kansas City Andy Reid team. Patrick Mahomes is the real fucking deal. Like he is. He just yeah. he's that dude. Uh, squeaky voice kid. Yeah, he's that dude. They're gonna be thirteen and three at worst at the end of the year. You know. 12 and 4, whatever. The Chargers are not. The guy can fill the ball around. Yeah, the guy, they're not. They're not. So we, let's look, though. I mean, I, what do I do? Well, I hold on to Gordon just in case he comes back in week 17. Yeah, you might need to get rid of Gordon. Yeah, for so, what? For like, the guy gets nine points? Yeah, for nobody. Uh, but we have decisions to make, Mike. Got that quarterback conundrum. I definitely am going to go with Tom Brady. Tom Brady is at Miami. For sure. Dak Prescott is home. 
Is he filled up here? I'm going with Tommy. Um, Tommy's from play. Um, we've got the tight end thing. Jerry Cook, big week last week. Trey Huge Burton. Week. Trey Burton puts up a bagel. Where are we going there? Uh, I mean, I haven't made my mind up yet. But uh, it seems like Jerry Cook is a smart pick. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Trey Burton, I was high on him early in the year, and he really just hasn't shown up. But, I mean, you know, Trubisky's not playing. You've been dealing with a backup quarterback the last couple weeks in Chicago. You know, odds are Trubisky's back this week. You know, that could be something to consider as well. Uh, We've got to do something about your defense. Oh, let's go pick up somebody. Okay. Let's go pick up somebody. Don't know anybody. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. Just don't know yet. More than 20. I will go on the waiver wire for a defense if I have to. I'm not just going to wait. Yeah, I'm trying to think here. I like, I mean, I don't like the Lions ever, but the Cardinals are really bad, even though they got a crazy win. I mean, honestly, oh, Mike McCarthy got fired three hours after the game. That's wild. Well, because he lost to the Cardinals at home. That's, they just said, nope, you're done. I've never seen that. It's, it's actually unprecedented. A, it's a Super Bowl winning coach it's wild. gets fired yeah. in the middle of the season. Um, the Packers so favored in that game. A little side note to all you uh, gamblers out there. You got them swimmers. Listen, swimmers. There was not even a money line. You couldn't bet on the Packers to win outright. See, this, this nigga was actually in Vegas. You couldn't. You could not bet on the Packers to win outright. You had to lay the 15. It was a 15-point spread in the NFL. 15 points is a lot of points in the NFL. Not a lot of battle pattern, unless you want to lay the 15. So that's how big of an upset. It was snowing. You had the Cardinals from the desert playing in the snow when they win. That's how bad the Packers were. Okay. Uh, anyway. So let's go with a prediction. You've got that running back stack that I like. Still, even with, you know. Even with Melvin Gordon. Yeah. And I still go with me. Very close. See what Dave's got to say here. I'm going to go fourth and 20. I like the Chiefs. A little like stab to the heart there. I like the Chiefs, I like the Chiefs at home. <laughs> I like the Chiefs at home this week, and I don't think there's much defense for you to pick up out there. I'm going to go, yeah, just, I mean, period. It's always on matchup, man. So, Chiefs at home, put up big points. Um, you know. I, I think make, I'll get them. But. Still make the playoffs. It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah. I'm not like putting the, the nail in the coffin for you yet or anything like that, so I really wouldn't worry about it. Uh, let's go on to the, probably the other most important matchup of the week, or one of the for, for actually making the playoffs. It's ridiculousness versus team. Who cares, right? Who cares? Let's see what we got going on here, because I mean we've got a, a disparity. It's a big one. It's a big one. We got a number here shifting towards the lower ranked team. Yeah, but doesn't he have somebody out? Oh, he's starting Le'Veon Bell because he thinks he's funny. He's funny, that's right. Oh, funny guy. Funny guy. Ah, ah, ah. So we're going to end up starting, what, instead of him? Oh, because Connor's out too, actually. That's right. Oh, wow. You got real injury concerns here. You're going with C. Thompson. Chris Tom. Yeah, or maybe LeGarrette Blount. Ooh, man, he's got running back issues. Yeah, he's been trying to broker me for a running back deal, uh... For about four or five weeks, so. even though the trade deadline ended three weeks ago. Now, do you guys figure that part out yet? Yeah. About four or five weeks. It's two of those weeks. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, what we always look at with Anthony's team is the Carolina Panthers, right? I mean, he's got Cam and he has Christian McCaffrey. Okay. Yeah, and I got to like for Anthony that they are playing the Cleveland Browns. So the Carolina Panthers at the Cleveland Browns probably going to put up some big numbers there. McCaffrey, really unprecedented run. I mean, I think he went third. 20-plus last week, 40 the week before that, 30 the week before that. I mean, he's really having his way right now, right? Yeah. So you got, you got to like that. We look at for team who cares. I mean, he just, you know, this is a guy that we said, I, I, a lot of bad luck throughout the season, still putting out a, a reputable roster. Hard to not in a 10 man league. Though. So he's going to put up 12. So this really, you're going to, one, when the lineups are set going into Sunday, I believe this is going to be a matchup that you can throw a blanket over. It's going to be projected 115, 115, right? Yeah. So flip a coin, figure out who you're going to win. I'm going to go with ridiculousness here uh, because of his Carolina Panther matchup. I see McCaffrey going out for 25 plus. Cam Newton can give himself a running touchdown. And I think that'll be the difference this way. And it'll secure a playoff berth there for uh, ridiculousness. 
If not, I agree. If not, I think he's out. So I already predicted Steven to win. So if Steve wins, Anthony loses. Anthony is watching from the sidelines, cheering everybody else out of the playoffs. I think he's going to win just because. Karma? No. Just because he's got a better player. They're going to be. I mean, this is going to be projected to the same. Yeah. Let's go on to uh, our last matchup. Definitely the most anticipated. Really, this is a a matchup that both these teams, very powerhouse lineups, um, you know, where if one of these teams win and I lose, they win the regular season. Oh, that's true. I mean, obviously, one of these teams is going to lose. The winner of this wins the league if I take an out this week. I'm aware. So, so what I'm cheering for. So, Jamie and Alex should be the biggest Tim Even fans. Even though I love you. Of all time. So, we talked about it a little bit already. Let's go over to Alex's team real quick. Okay. Philip Rivers in the starting lineup right now. Do so you have a problem with that? I like Philip Rivers. No, because of the tough matchup for those LA Rams. We always look at the LA Ram matchup when we look at Alex's team, and he's got a tough matchup, tough defense there in Chicago. He's going to go with Rivers at home against Cincinnati over Jared Goff on the road, Sunday Night Football at Soldier Field. Which I agree Smart. with. I agree with Great play, not marrying himself to players out of emotion. Um, we always love Zach Ertz. Late season pickup for him, LaShawn McCoy. Um, I don't think. think there's much. Oh, and he's going to, wow, he's going to play the Rams defense over Chicago. Here, listen, you're right, Mike. Alex the player. You know, he's a dog, dude. I can, I can. Three defenses he's rostering right now. Probably Maybe all, next job is as good as you. Probably it's already, too late. But. Probably already, you know, plotting off his playoff plan. Yeah. You know, so that's 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 just good on you. Uh, and he's in full playoff mode. Take a little, quick look over at Jamie's team here. We're going to always start Drew Brees. You know, we had the Kirk Cousins, to, you know, debate for a little bit there. Antonio Brown. That's right. I, I told you. I looked him up. Like, Antonio, man, this nigga. Antonio oh. Brown, Keenan Allen, both solid starters, James White, Travis Kelsey. I mean, really, look at this. Two of the, two of the best teams in our league also rostered the two best tight ends in the league. Such a shallow position that they're making up 7 to 10 points on a week-in and week-out basis versus the rest of us just because of their tight ends, Ertz and Kelsey. Uh, I like James White. Next year, I'll consider that. That the wide receivers are uh, easy to come by and tight ends aren't. It's something. It'll be interesting next year. Yeah, to see how that roster, how those two guys, where they fall in draft positions. For me, they, all I care about is points. They might get a little bit more valuable. Yeah, uh, you know, if there's really only two guys. I mean, imagine if like there's a only, weak position right now. Yeah, but imagine if there's only two quarterbacks that put up twenty points every week, and then everybody else right. Put up 10. That's the exact example. Like, we would be drafting, you know, the two top quarterbacks in the first round. So I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think they're going to the first round, but that tight end position it stays as shallow going to next year's fantasy yeah. draft. I would think that, like, you'd have to consider taking Travis Kelsey or Zach Ertz with an early round pick. Yeah, okay. Uh, consider that for the draft. That's for next year. Well, it's just, it'd be interesting. Who would have thought? But, yeah, this motherfucker plays. I totally see that. You knew. You recognize this game. So right away. Yeah, but Jamie's got a squad, too. This is not. This is not. I'm talking now. It don't is, matter. Guess what? I'm a squad, too, and I didn't know shit compared to you guys. This is not an easy win for him whatsoever. I want to look. It's Fitzgerald. No. No, Jamie's got the tough end. Outside of Drew Brees, I think she has the tough end of these matchups. They have two big receivers going to put up big numbers. I like the Rivers play for Alex. I'm going to go with Alex's team for the win here. Also, don't mind the music playing, but I'm actually thinking. He, he plugged it. We went the, uh, I knew he was going to plug it match. We went with the Rocky Four soundtrack this week. Just for this. It's hardcore. Did you go see yeah, that? I'm going to go with fucking tape. I went with fucking tape. That I'm would, not happy about it. Well, that, I mean, that would definitely secure him as the number two seed if I win. And it'll be the yeah. number one seed if I lose. Which is big. I have to win. That's correct. I have to win this week. Because if I don't win this week, then I'm not going to get a buy. Top two seeds get a buy. Ooh. So, I mean, That's I'm, right. See, I, this yeah. is my first league. I don't even know that shit. Tim's going to need a win this week. Um, you know what? Um, Mike, do you got anything else with, uh, with fantasy? No. no. I just feel like a defeated man right now. But by next week, I'll be happy. Uh, all right. Sponsor time, then. Uh, I'm going to do a couple different ones this week because of my weekend. Um... And if anyone wants any trail advice, 
Uh, went to Las Vegas this week. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a shout out to Delta Airlines. Uh, I love Delta. Yeah, uh, guys. Actually, I love Delta Airlines. I'll put it out there too. Yeah, if if you want to save some money, save it somewhere else. Not on the flight. Fly with Delta. Delta. They Air- got you a TV. Yeah. TV, they got food, they got stuff you want to emulate. Seriously, I bought food on the Delta's land. a bit. Yeah. I, I bought, I I'll ate. Be, well, you know, like, Delta. No, I mean, like, you get, I was hungry on the way out there, and I just got a menu. I'm like, oh, yeah, I love a turkey sandwich. Ten bucks, turkey sandwich. <laughs> Here you go. Turkey yeah. Sandwich. Oh, no, seriously. Like, it was beautiful, sandwich. like, that yeah, like, is pouring out of the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. The man made this is the best thing ever. Like, help me take a little nappy poo on the way out, right? Yeah. And then, uh, also, uh, I went out to Las Vegas this weekend. Uh, generally, uh, I'm also one that doesn't want to invest a lot of money in my uh, hotel room. Especially in Las Vegas, you're not there very often. You just ain't there. I'd rather be yeah. drunk and gambling. But, man, stayed at the Wynn this weekend. The Wynn? I'm telling you, if you want to class it up, you got a lady or something like that, and you want to show her a good time, I'm telling you, it is, like, out of a movie. And I didn't stay in, like, some sort of, like, crazy suite. Like, no, I can see if I'm showing the late, but is that where I go with my buddies? I, it still is something special. I mean, there, there is a little, you know, some creature comforts when you're on vacation, you know, like, I mean, legitimately, like, I'm waking up in the morning, taking a shower, and there's a TV in my shower. Like, I'm watching... That's cool. Sports, <laughs> I'm watching Sports Center while I fucking... Taking a shower. Like, wipe my butt. Yeah. No, like, in the shower. Oh, while I yeah, like, my armpits. Like, I'm not, like, listening to the TV <laughs> in the living room. Listen, I'm watching the TV in the shower. You know, like... You walk into the room and hit a button, and like the curtains open up automatically, and you got this beautiful view of the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, to the so, wind, I guess. Yeah. So to the wind, Delta Airlines, uh, as always, Clubhouse VFD, where I will be back in full form tomorrow, rested, ready to go. I'll be uh, at least seventy-five percent for it. Huh? Interesting. <laughs> um, but no, uh, I want to thank uh, Detroit basketball. I'm drinking the Kool Aid. Uh, I think we can do well this year. That's it. That's all I care about. This is your best one. Tough loss last night, though. Tough loss, but hey, you know you lose some games. It's silly. Did beat the defending champions of the world handily. Handily beat the defending champ, so I'm not gonna like get down on my team. Yeah. So but last night we looked bad. Hey, a little let down game, I think. And always, uh, this guy. Oh yeah. I'm gonna thank uh, Floyd. Big Robinson. dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyways, my grandfather, Floyd, he's an awesome man. Really, you would have, uh, it's a pleasure to have met him. So we're going to thank Sweet Nuts Buffet, where the extra stuff costs extra. Uh, anything else, Mike? Good to go. That's it. Week See 13. You guys. Done. Little, little.